Johannesburg, a Johannesburg-based group called the Friends Cemeteries appealed to the city of Johannesburg to increase security at Bramfontein Cemetery, where ash walls containing remains 4,000 people were destroyed. Graveyard Friends volunteers were busy cleaning up the mess left by the vandals. Yildiz realizes that marble and granite slabs have been ripped from the walls and crashed to ground. This wasn't only cemetery that had problems, Brixton Cemetery has also had problems with people staying in cemetery using tombstones as shelter and in some cases as fireplaces or shields from wind. Johannesburg City Parks has managed to fix the problems at Brixton Cemetery with security upgrades. Sarah Wellam told the Star that a team of volunteers is now working hard to find information about people placed inside the wall and notify family members. The team is also working on repairing destroyed ash walls, as family members some of the deceased have moved out country. We first saw this on March 13, what they do is pull out the marble and the slab. So you're going to look at this wall and see coffins with ashes, Wellam said. South Africa Johannesburg Grave Vandalism April 4, 2023 The slabs lining the niches in the Bramfontein Cemetery have been removed or damaged. Some sites have been stolen from metal boxes containing the ashes, possibly as scrap metal. Timothy Bernard African News Agency has appealed the municipality for private sector organizations to help build a high wall around the cemetery keep vandals out. We ask for help from private sector, as municipality may not be able to build such a wall around cemetery. Initially, he said he thought vandals had stolen some valuables from coffins placed inside wall, but nothing was stolen and ash wall had just been destroyed. They need to upgrade security, these things happen at night. I was told security is not always given guns. There are holes in around cemetery and part of fence is always stolen and municipality says cannot be replaced, he said. Wellam said he was surprised that all respect for the was lost in Johannesburg. He said he suspects vandalism may be the result of a drug problem in community. We thought Niob smokers wanted to drink the ashes. The ash wall contains people from 1930, he said. Johannesburg City Parks said in a statement that it was aware of the situation at Bramfontein Cemetery.